In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your existing distributed PME installation to version 8.2. Uh, this upgrade is a little bit different than previous distributed upgrades because in this version of the software, we now support minimalist installations, which means that you no longer have to run the installer on the database server. We can just run the installer uh, or the upgrader from the application server, point that to the database server, and that will upgrade the, the databases. Because of that, there will be an extra step here at the end where we'll have to go back to the database server and place a file in that's necessary for the uninstall, run the uninstaller to remove any sort of uh, remaining components of PME that are left over in the program files and then that will uh, then get to your database server uh, to where it's just hosting the databases and then future upgrades you'll just run on the application server and point it uh, to the database instance without the need for actually running the installer on the database server. So we're just going to begin by running the executable here. This is an 8.1 distributed installation. So we're just able to use the PME 8.2 executable. If this were a 7.01 or 7.2 system, we'd need to use the full installer. So you'd want to download the ISO file instead. Uh, this is 8.1 though. As we can see, that's what's detected here by the installer. Uh, and it also automatically chooses the application server as our uh, setup type because it detects that existing installation. So that looks good. We'll go ahead and proceed with the prompts here pretty quickly uh, and just follow the standard installation. One thing here that is new in 8.2 is this system key. You'll need to save this key file because it is what allows you to uh, install client machines. You'll need to reference this key and, and move it to the client machine when you do that install. Uh, it's also necessary for uh, password resets, things like that. Um, as a security measure, you'll need this key. So make sure you take note of where you save that and, and probably create a backup of that. Keep it uh, safe and secure so that you're able to uh, restore those passwords and uh, perform those client installs. Rest of this stuff is uh, pretty standard. So we'll go through this really quickly, speed this up a little bit and uh, get into the actual uh, installation. Okay, now the configuration is complete. We'll go ahead and click next and then close out of the installer. And then we'll move to the database server. Before starting the uninstall on the database server, we'll need to download an XML file that's attached to the FAQ. Uh, you'll want to reference FAQ number FA313058. That'll be uh, in the description of the video as well. Uh, that has a XML file attached to it. As you see that on the desktop, it's called everythingelsebroker.xml. So we'll just navigate into the program files, the install directory for Power Monitoring Expert here on the database server. And we'll go to the uninstall folder inside that installation directory. And we're gonna find in the broker fragments folder here in everything else broker.xml that uh, matches in name the one that's on our desktop. So we'll go ahead and rename the existing broker XML. Uh, you can rename it to whatever you want as long as it's not the same as it was before. So we'll just put in old there. And then we'll go ahead and just move the new everything else broker into the folder broker fragments uh, in the uninstall folder. So now we're ready to go to the control panel and add and remove programs and run the uninstall of PME from the database server. So we'll just find Power Monitoring Expert here in the list, click uninstall, and we'll go ahead and speed this uninstall process up. Just make sure that you've got uh, all green uh, success check marks on this uninstall to make sure that everything has been uh, completely uninstalled. And uh, that's all there is. So we've removed any remnants of PME from the database server now 
So future upgrades, you'll just go ahead and run the installer on the application server, point it to the database server, and the database upgrades will be done. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you.